Hello there, friends. with the writer Harvey here. I'm not smoking a pipe today because I'm going to do a, my Sipo trick a video. And <laughs> I received more than one comment to explain how the Sipo trick works. I have three Sipo lighters. Um, Here's the third one. Two of them are pipe lighters, one that uh, Mike, PA Pipe Guy, gave me and one came with the um, set of um, the Peterson uh, pipe and one really cheap this cost me I think it's a dollar this is a knockoff of a Zippo it's not really a Zippo it says clearly made in China it's, I think the brand is a star and it's as you can see thicker right and heavier but it, it works to do the tricks. Um, uh, this is the the lighter that I practiced before receiving Mike's lighter. And if you recall, I think as soon as I got it, or a day or a couple of days after, I was doing simple tricks with this one because I already have practiced with this one. So the the trick that you usually see me doing is the following, and, and, and I'll do it once quickly so you can you can see uh, how it how it works. Uh, so mm, it ends in this position already lit so you can light your pipe without uh, the lid getting in the way and to close it you just shake it off so let me explain the first and the last part and, and disclaimer by no means I'm an expert I didn't come I didn't come up with the simple tricks you just uh, Google and in YouTube you will find instructional videos of the guy or the guys who come up with all these ideas and these ones are very simple I've seen all kind of weird stuff but I found those the two that I'm going to explain practical and quick to light your pipe so the first one is that you have to hold from the lid right more or less in the middle with three fingers Right, and you shake it, as you shake it, it will open and it, it ends like this. Right? Uh, then you use the middle finger and your ring finger to put it in the middle of your two fingers. And you, what you want to do is to shake it this way, very similar to what you would do with a, with a pen, like this. So you, you rotate it this way over your middle finger and in this position you use your index finger to make leverage as, as you're doing this position position you should have a pretty good grip on the lighter and then here you can strike it and light it up then you move it away and you have your light up once you're here it's a matter of close it up Perhaps I, I left away a little bit after the strike because I was concerned that I wouldn't burn myself. So we'll go back to that point. So you come here, two fingers, rotate, leverage, strike. I'm not going to strike here. Strike. Flame is there, right? Your middle finger is right on, on there. So you have to move it. But since the flight is going up, it's, it's more or less safe. And, and then you can just take it away right it's here you take it away the middle finger as you rotate the lighter you see you're here you just strike it and then you rotate it and once you're here you just shake it so this is the the most common one that I do and you can practice just doing doing that exercise you can just shake it and close it, shake it and close it, shake it and close it. Even more so, sometimes I just shake it, leave it here, and when I'm here, I close it just to practice the rotation of the lighter. There is a second one, and the second one is, is fancier, but it's riskier, but because with this one, it's, it's hard to lose the grip of the lighter at one particular moment. There are always two or three fingers holding it. Uh, and it and start like this. And all, those tricks ha can be done 
with your left hand as well. So I'm doing with the left, but of course it's, it's slower, right? Exactly the same thing. And this one, you have to be uh, take the letter uh, with three fingers, and and what you want to do is I, I cannot do this slowly, but you want to do this movement, right? This movement, and if you do it quick enough and hard enough, making pre uh, enough pressure, it will open the lid. And it's quite impressive because you hold you hold your your letter like this. And then, hey, I cannot do it in front of the camera. There we go. It's, yeah. You have to let them go, and it will. And that's the risk with this with this trick, because you're doing too much pressure, and then it might just the lighter might flow away, and that's why I don't do it that often. Perhaps when I'm on the table. So what I do is I leave it open, right? And when it's here, I can strike it, use it, and close it. But that's the risk of this, uh, at least for me, since you're doing so much pressure, you may actually lose the lighter to the floor. I'm not sure how long this video went, and I hope I'll be able to edit it in some parts to make it slower. But look, Jay, it, it also can be done with, with bigger and heavier lighters. And I think this one is even easier to open because it's thicker. Yeah. Okay, that's all, my friends. Um, let me know if somebody gets it. <laughs> As always, puff away.